Hi guys, welcome back to Bus Company Simulator with OMSI 2 where we've just completed our first exam in Bodenham and now we're going to do another one excuse me, I have hiccups for some reason ok so we'll do line 10 next we can drive with that bus, that's the only bus we've got so we haven't got a lot of choice OK, so we're starting from Reed Parade in Hockley, going to St Catherine's Hospital A&E. OK. Oh, I forgot about trying to do those. Uh, well, let's leave it. We'll do it after this one. I'll try and remember to do it. I meant to check it in the add-on manager and see if it's possible to replace whatever's causing the issue normally gives you a way to fix them. Well, it's not the end of the world, it just means there's no other buses on the road at the moment, but without that Bodrum without .rlar file, I might be struggling to fix that, but we'll see. Let's do this route and then we'll try and um, see what we can do. need to wait for OMSI to load. OMSI is not the fastest loading program in the world. OK. So, let's get our bus started. some heating on. Not too high but we'll just get a bit of heating and then hopefully we can keep it at a reasonable level. I need to set up the views so that I can look left and right and also at the cash desk to do the tickets should do. OK, so let's set the schedule. So we are on line 10, circulation 70. OK, that looks good. 13.30, yep. So it's going to be 10 to St Catherine's Hospital. set up the ticket machine. So line will be 01000. Route we'll try 01. Yep, 01. That'll do. The destination shows on that machine, your current position shows on the one over here. Okay. We're about three minutes, so if we head around here, so this is where you stop at the end <coughs> if you're coming to Reed Parade from the hospital, but we need to go around here. Oh, hopefully avoid that curb. Pedestrians are actually waiting for the bus to go, that's amazing. I'm sure they never used to do that. I'm sure they used to just walk across the road. Okay, one passenger. Hello. Oh, okay. Fine. Let's move it forward a couple of minutes and see if we get anybody else. Ignore that. Does that sometimes. Not sure what that message in German means, but it never seems to be a problem. 
Okay, doesn't look like we're getting anybody else. So we've got one passenger at the moment. Nolan Road. So Nolan Road is our next stop. Now at some of these roundabouts, there's a weird thing that happens. And I'm not sure if it will happen this time. But we'll see if it does. And if it does, I'll point it out to you. It is really strange. But... Okay, there's nobody at Nolan Road. I think it'll be a very busy service at the moment. Ah, now the weird thing at the roundabout, I think you're going to see here. Just announce the next stop. Now watch that ambulance. I'm just going to pull up for a second or two. Oh, he's gone off. Right, sometimes what happens is the ambulance goes round and round the roundabout forever and a day. Well, it wasn't close. It wasn't close at all. It was just me breaking because there was an ambulance. No did this stop either. We're not getting any passengers. Yeah, so sometimes you will see ambulances going round and round and round about forever. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, sometimes they're just going round and round and round and don't ever go anywhere, which is highly peculiar. Axley Road. Might get some people here. Hello. Hello. It's a single to you and me. Thank you very much. A single ticket, please. Welcome, there you go. Yeah, that's got rid of them. So let's... So the next stop is around this industrial estate. So those people on our left will be picking up when we come back. Industry Way. So that was Industry Way. Herbal Industrial Estate. See, the reason I set up those views at the beginning is so that I can look left and right. Industry way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We're not industry way again yet. We're at Hemel Industrial Estate. I forgot I'd already done it. Not to worry. Hello. Hello. I'm only travelling. Three stops. We don't care. Okay, so we're running almost a minute late at the moment. Hopefully, once we get out of this bit, I think we'll get some time back. This is just a particularly slow bit around this industrial estate. You'll see some strange things in OMSI where ambulances drive straight through lorries parked at the side of the road and all sorts. If you accept its flaws, it's pretty good fun. Ok, 
Okay, so this is industry way for the second time. Whoops, sorry I hit the brake a bit hard. Nobody buying a ticket. Okay, so we need to go we need to go right, don't we? We came in via Keogh Avenue and Apsley Road, so we need to go out towards Apsley Bus Garage. Well, you can start. You can start at the bus garage and drive down to the first stop if you want. Assuming you know the way. I know I hit the old curb or two, but I never claimed to be the world's best stop. But we don't care, mate. It doesn't matter how many stops you go in, it's a single. Okay. So that's the bus garage done, which I didn't announce. Walton Avenue is the next one. I keep forgetting to press the announcement button. Doesn't matter, the passengers know where they are anyway. But it's just nice to do. It's something like a DL05 double decker, it does it automatically. So, Walton Avenue. Hello. Hey. Not getting many people buying tickets. It's selling about 80%, I think. But that 80% is an average over time. So at times you're going to get lots of people buying tickets, and at times you're going to get others. <coughs> Very few. It's the nature of averages. We're in a one-way system here. Stanton Street. Stanton Street's our next stop. Just round this corner is Stanton Street. Buying tickets, oh well. Nobody wants to get off, nobody wants to get on. Mm. And now we're going up to Apsley Rail Station where we started the previous route to go to Wootton. We actually started up here. And there are stops both sides of the road, so you just need to be aware of which side of the road you're supposed to be stopping. And it's uphill. Those passengers on our left will not be for us. If we've got anybody, they'll be here.
going to get on? No, I'm not far enough forward, I don't think. Can be quite fussy about you being in the right spot. Can you get on now? Yes. I'd like a day rider, please. You'd like a day rider, okay. A day rider you shall have. Hello, mate. It's a day ticket, lad. Another day ticket. Sorry, I was... Uh, return, please. I screwed up her change. Good old sir, single, please. I hit five pound coins instead of two pound coins when I was trying to give that lady her change. Okay. So we now need to go up here and do a U-turn around this roundabout. So far, even though I've got collisions turned off, I'm not sure we would have hit anything. But I guarantee you, if I turn collisions on, it'll be a nightmare. So, I sort of ain't going to do it, but I'm just going to drive as if they're on. So on the right down here is where we started the previous route. We started sort of parked here and drove down to this stop on our right was our first stop last time. Did I announce any of that? No, I didn't. Keep forgetting. Okay, Hemlock Tower is next, so we need to go right at the bottom here. And one assumes one of those tower blocks in front of us is Hemlock Tower. So I'm green, so that's one good thing. See what I mean by the number of ambulances? If you've got AI sounds turned on, all you get is sirens the whole time, and it's so annoying. So I just turn off the AI vehicle sounds, and you can drive around without constantly hearing sirens. Welcome, old chap. So that's them done. Winchester Street. Speed humps down here. A standard day ticket, please. Is it okay like that, or do I need to validate it? No, it's fine, love. Don't need to validate it. You're fine. She often asks that question. Another guy who gets on asked for a day ticket and then says, "I've got a question. How long will it be valid for?" Well, it's a day ticket, so how long do you think it's valid for? A week? But there you go. They're a funny bunch. Winchester Mews. Well, we're coming down to Winchester Mews. Not doing too bad for time. We're getting on towards two minutes late, but you've got three minute tolerance, so... Nobody wants to get on here, but somebody wants to get off. 
something of a pain because if they didn't, I wouldn't have needed to stop. One young lady got off. There you go, love. On your way. Bit hard. I'm surprised they didn't moan about that. They seem to be very tolerant of my driving at the moment. I'm surprised they're not screaming blue murder. A standard day ticket, please. Is it okay like that, or do I need to validate it? No, you don't need to validate it. It's fine. <laughs> Told you she asked that quite a lot. Okay, town hall now. I don't think that guy's getting on. No, he didn't move. Normally they move if they want to get on your bus. He's waiting for a different bus. Hey, bus station next. Lots of routes go via the bus station, not surprisingly. Quite a few go via the train station, also not that surprising. Actually, bus station. No entry except for buses, that's us. You can see some parked buses, but as I say, I don't think you'll see any on the road until I can <coughs> resolve this issue. But I'll try and remember to check the map in the add-on manager at the end of this and see if that makes a difference. I've got a feeling it won't unless I can get that Belgian and without file. Uh, a day ticket, please. A number of times you get asked that. Child return. Right money, well done Sid. Hiya. Day ticket. Okay. Done. Let the pedestrians get across. Don't know if they just got off our bus, but they might have done. I didn't notice, to be honest. Head is just up here on the right. We're over three minutes late again now, so we need to get some time back, and we've got a red traffic light. On a crossing where I didn't see anybody cross. So I don't know who pressed the button. Hey, nobody wants to get off. Let's see if anybody wants to get on. Yes, looks like they do. Ah, oh, somebody wants to get off now anyway. Hello. 
Hello. One ticket. When they ask things like just one ticket, you have to look at the red writing that pops up in the top left to work out what ticket they actually want. So it tells you the ticket price up there and then you can deal with it. It's not terribly helpful just getting on the bus and saying one ticket. Because one ticket doesn't tell you what type of ticket. They don't want to get on. No, I don't think they do. They're waiting for a different bus. Okay. Let's not waste any more time. We're late. Somebody wants to get off at the next stop. Not the best news we could have had. Break quite so hard that time, they won't moan. A couple of people getting off. Okay, on we go. As you can see, this road, this route goes around quite a lot of quite small roads. is not the fastest thing in the world, so getting time back is going to be difficult. Especially if we have to stop at every stop. But there you go, what can you do? Ticket, in fact, a return ticket you want. You can see why having ticketing on advanced is harder, but it does make it more fun and more of a challenge. nearly at the hospital anyway so we aren't going to get much time back because we're nearly at the end of the route. You getting on? Yes you are. You don't want to take it, that's fine. So there's no way we can get time back because next stop is Villa Allotments and after that is the hospital where this route finishes. So we're going to be late but there's nothing we can do. I'm not going to worry about heating because it wouldn't change much now if I adjusted it now. So, so a bit warm, they'll have to stay a bit warm. We need these lights to change. But if you end up late, there's nothing you can do about traffic lights. It's just a fact of life, I'm afraid. Okay, somebody wants to get off. We've had to stop at nearly every stop on this route, so... The only body will get on. Looks like she might. You want to get on? We're only going one more stop. 
clearly can't be bothered to walk down the road to get to the hospital. Maybe she's not feeling very well, so let's let her off. traffic light against us. But we are at St Cass Hospital, so I think we're going to do the main entrance and then A and E. Villa oh no, we've done that. Saint Catherine's yeah, Hospital main entrance. Main entrance. Main entrance and then A and E, I think, because it terminates at A and E if I remember rightly. Lights gonna change and let us have a turn or what? Ah, oh, here we go. Finally, that was a long time. I suppose they favour the hospital direction because of ambulances coming out. I would imagine. Which is fair enough when you think about it. Well, nobody's going to get on here because we're only going round the corner to A and E. So we'll let everybody who wants to get off. One advantage you get from Bus Company Simulator with a menu at the top of the screen, which you don't have in OMSI itself, is how many passengers you've got on board. We've got 12 at the moment. Normally, you wouldn't know that in OMSI. It doesn't tell you. So that's one useful thing. Right, so we need to go up here. Nearly went the wrong way there. You can get to A and E the other way, but that's not the route. We've got to go this way. There is another route that comes down there because there's another stop up there. Royal Lane. Can't remember which oh, where did he come from? Can't remember which route that is on. Make sure there's no ambulance about to come tearing out of here. No, I don't think so. So this is from Catherine's Hospital A and E. And we need to go in here. See the NHS signs. Yeah, there you go, that should be it. So we did alright at the beginning of the route and then it all went a bit pear shaped. Terminate the tour. Okay, 21 stops, 13 on time. That's not going to be great. 62%. Right well, on that, because collisions are turned off anyway. Mm, not bad. What's the satisfaction like? Not great, I wouldn't think. Well, it's not bad. Driving 81.5%, that's a bit low. Excellent, 88%. Okay, not as good as the previous route, but still, it's 88% bonus. back to the office. You'll notice at the moment the account balance says 7465. When you get back to the office it's 7176 because you had to take off the fee for doing that uh, exam. Okay now I'm going to go back to the main menu and go to the add-on manager. Check your add-ons for mistakes. Bowden V4 start inspection. There we go. Now we click help 
Replace the vehicle with another one that you have installed, but it's not letting me replace anything. Install missing vehicle. I suspect this is a payware one. Well, maybe not. Okay, let's just see if we can... We can get this to install. your download is complete. Click on install now to install the software on your machine. What are you trying to install? Right, I'm going to cancel that. Okay. So hopefully, my doll file was not found. Hmm. Okay, I don't look like that's going to work, does it? This is why I need the Bodenum without file. If I had the Bodenum without file, I could get around some of this. But some of those downloads just don't seem to work. Okay, I might investigate that a bit further. But for now, that is it. So I will end there and I'll see you next time when we'll do another route while we've got the money. See you soon. Bye bye.